It's officially sunflower season and a local farm has opened up their land for people to enjoy the fields and even take some home. Cornelia Nicholson has more. Red's Hay Farm in Udawa isn't your typical farm. They're family owned and they're growing sunflowers as tall as me. Red's Hay Farm has been a staple in Udawa since the 60s, passing down from generation to generation. Our whole family has grown up here. We have three different houses on the farm, so it's been my grandparents, us, my great-grandparents, and even my cousins, my dad's sister, and uncle, and everybody. Cameron Baltimore's great-grandfather started the farm nearly six decades ago. My great-grandfather, Red, bought this tractor in the 60s whenever he started the hay business. Um, he used this throughout the summer and the fall. It actually still runs, and we use it some, so we brought it out here. In 2019, Baltimore says they decided to expand and start growing sunflowers. And the reason why is simple. Well, everybody loves them. As you can see, like all over Facebook and everything, that there's pictures all over, you know, Tennessee and stuff. Everyone just loves to come out, take pictures, and it's just a good time. Baltimore says every year they plant about 20 pounds of sunflower seeds. And in just two months, their field transforms into a sea of yellow, with some stems towering over six feet making it the perfect backdrop for a photo shoot. So when people get here, they can expect to have a bunch of props for pictures where they want to take on their phones. Um, we do have a sunflower loop so they can do the big loop through the sunflowers. Baltimore says they'll have food vendors and live music some days, but the best part of visiting the field is getting to take a piece home with you. And we even sell sunflowers, $1 a stem. Baltimore says she's excited for the season and looking forward to having a good time with all the visitors. Red's Hay Farm is open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. up until July 17th or whenever the sunflowers wilt. In Udawa, Cornelia Nicholson, Local 3 News.